Israel finds itself on high alert following a significant escalation in the ongoing conflict. For the first time during the war between Israel and Hamas, Hezbollah, the powerful militant group based in Lebanon, has launched a ballistic missile strike. This unprecedented attack specifically targeted the headquarters of Israel's intelligence agency, Mossad, on the outskirts of Tel Aviv. According to Hezbollah's own statement, this strike was in retaliation for recent assassinations of its key leaders and a series of explosions that have damaged communication networks in Lebanon. Hezbollah blames Mossad for orchestrating these sabotage operations, particularly the destruction of their wireless devices. Hezbollah has long supported its Palestinian allies in Gaza, frequently launching attacks on Israel's northern regions. However, this ballistic missile strike marks a shift in strategy. Israel's military confirmed that it was the first time Hezbollah had aimed such a powerful weapon at Tel Aviv, signaling a broader scope to their operations. This could suggest that Hezbollah is no longer limiting its attacks to northern Israel, but is now willing to strike deeper into the country, potentially including its most populated areas. Israel's defense systems responded quickly. The ballistic missile was intercepted by the David Sling Air Defense System, preventing what could have been a catastrophic impact. Despite the successful interception, the air raid sirens sent Tel Aviv residents scrambling for cover. Nine people were reportedly injured, not from the missile itself, but while rushing to shelters in the midst of the chaos. Experts believe that the purpose of Hezbollah's attack wasn't necessarily to cause widespread destruction. Instead, it seems to have been a calculated show of force, demonstrating that Hezbollah possesses the capability to deploy ballistic missiles and reach strategic targets, even Israel's intelligence infrastructure. This also carries a potent message. Hezbollah knows the precise locations of Israel's most sensitive sites despite all efforts to conceal them. The attack was a clear warning that Hezbollah's missile arsenal could strike critical points in Israel at any time, heightening the stakes in this already volatile conflict. If the analysts' suspicions hold true, future Hezbollah attacks could become far deadlier than what we've seen so far. While some of Israel's supporters might argue that Hezbollah's recent ballistic missile attack was successfully intercepted by the David Sling defense system, they seem to underestimate the real threat. After all, if Hezbollah decides to launch more missiles, it might seem easy to intercept them again. Israel has a robust multi-layered defense system, and even if David's Sling fails, other systems like Iron Dome or Aero are designed to neutralize incoming threats. However, Hezbollah is far more strategic and sophisticated than some might assume. Israeli military officials are deeply concerned about the possibility of a large-scale missile barrage from Hezbollah in the near future. A saturation attack of this kind would overwhelm Israel's air defense systems, potentially depleting their ammunition reserves. If that scenario unfolds, Tel Aviv could be staring down a terrifying reality, a direct hit from Hezbollah's ballistic missiles, causing widespread devastation. Reports circulating in international media have also pointed to Hezbollah's tactics, closely aligned with Iran's proxy warfare strategies. These include the use of decoy attacks, where low-cost missiles or drones are launched first to exhaust Israel's air defense systems. The idea is to drain Israel's defensive ammunition, leaving critical gaps that could be exploited by more lethal ballistic missiles. 
Once the defenses are weakened, Hezbollah could easily follow up with a full-scale assault, making future strikes significantly more lethal. وتعود آخر تجربة على هذا النوع من الصواريخ الاحترافية. In fact, Hezbollah recently showcased the very missile used in their attack on Mossad's headquarters, the Qatar-1 ballistic missile. This medium-range missile, manufactured by Iran, is a key part of both Iranian and Hezbollah's arsenals in their ongoing conflict with Israel. The Qatar-1 is not just a symbolic display of power, it represents a real and tangible threat to Israel's security. The Qatar-1 was first unveiled by Iran on September 2, 2013, during a military demonstration in Tehran. According to defense experts, the missile measures 740 centimeters in length and has a diameter of 36 centimeters. Its warhead capacity ranges from 700 to 1,000 kilograms, a substantial payload that could include conventional explosives. Or, in the worst-case scenario, a nuclear warhead. This versatility has made the Cotter One a subject of significant concern, as its destructive potential is immense. Despite its heavy weight, over 17,000 kilograms, the Cotter One can still travel at speeds of up to Mach 0.9, or approximately 1,111 kilometers per hour. What makes this missile even more dangerous is its ability to maneuver during flight, allowing it to evade some of the most advanced missile defense systems. Coupled with its pinpoint accuracy, the Cater-1 represents a serious escalation in Hezbollah's military capabilities, potentially altering the balance of power in the region. Iran says it has successfully tested a new mid-range. As tensions continue to rise, the prospect of Hezbollah launching a coordinated large-scale missile assault on Israel looms larger. The Qatar-1 and similar weapons are poised to play a critical role in future confrontations, pushing the conflict into an even more dangerous phase. <laughs> The Cotter 1 missile's range is a factor that cannot be underestimated. Capable of traveling up to 300 kilometers, this missile poses a serious threat to Israel, particularly to its most populated and strategically important areas, such as Tel Aviv. If Hezbollah deploys the Cotter 1, reaching Tel Aviv with a devastating payload is entirely within their reach, adding to Israel's growing security concerns. Israel's anxiety stems from Hezbollah's recent shift in tactics. Historically, the militant group has relied on the Fadi series rockets, Fadi 1, Fadi 2, and Fadi 3, for its attacks. These rockets, while formidable, have a limited range and destructive power compared to ballistic missiles. For example, the Fadi 1, with a caliber of 220 millimeters, can only reach up to 80 kilometers making it ineffective for hitting deep inside Israel's territory, let alone a city like Tel Aviv. <laughs> Similarly, the Fadi 2, with a larger 302mm caliber and a range of 105 kilometers, poses a threat to Israel's northern regions, but does not inspire the same level of concern. Even the more powerful Fadi-3 rocket, known for its enhanced explosive payload, cannot reach targets deep within Israel's heartland. However, the introduction of the Qatar-1 missile has completely changed the equation, forcing Israel to reevaluate its defense strategies. <laughs> The Qatar 1's advanced features are what make it particularly worrisome for Israeli defense officials. 
This missile is not just powerful, but also highly accurate. Its precision targeting capabilities mean that, if launched, it could hit critical infrastructure with devastating effect. The missile's massive warhead, combined with its accuracy, could easily flatten entire buildings, which is precisely why it was selected to target Mossad's headquarters in the recent attack. For Hezbollah, ease of deployment is a top priority. Spontaneous attacks are far more effective in their asymmetric warfare strategy against Israel than well-planned strikes, and the Cotter One is ideal for such quick tactical launches. It has been reported that this missile offers both high operational flexibility and mobility, making it easier to transport and deploy at a moment's notice, an invaluable asset for Hezbollah in its ongoing conflict with Israel. Hezbollah fighters are shown wielding mortars, anti-tank missiles. One of the significant advantages of the Qatar One is its ability to withstand electronic warfare. Airborne attacks can often be thwarted by sophisticated enemy electronic countermeasures that disrupt missile navigation. However, the Qatar One is reportedly equipped to detect radar signals and resist electronic interference ensuring that its navigation system remains functional even in the face of enemy jamming. This feature is a game changer, as it makes Hezbollah's aerial strikes harder to prevent and counter. <laughs> Further enhancing its capabilities is the Cotter One's built-in autopilot system. This digital autopilot adjusts the missile's flight path in real time, ensuring it stays on course and hits its intended target with pinpoint accuracy. Historically, one of the weaknesses of ballistic missiles has been their lack of accuracy, but Iran's advancements in missile technology have addressed this issue. The Qatar One's autopilot ensures that once launched, the missile can adjust mid-flight making evasive maneuvers while maintaining a precise trajectory toward its target. This technology, which has now found its way into the hands of Hezbollah, is being used as part of their broader strategy to resist Israel and support the Palestinian cause. The question now is whether Hezbollah, equipped with advanced ballistic missiles like the Qatar One, can tip the scales in their favor in their ongoing battle with Israel.